Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got a great video. And uh, this is probably going to be uh, temporary, it's not going to work forever, but um, you're going to want to watch this video. Uh, go through it all the way, and um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to tether for free without a jailbreak. So that means all you people who are getting the 4S today, you can go ahead and tether as if you had a jailbreak. Honestly, to me, jailbreaking, the only thing I use is tethering. All the other themes, the tweaks, um, I use a few tweaks, but nothing crazy. The videos, um, the reason why I have so many tweaks is just so that I can do the videos for you guys. Otherwise, I use the tethering and uh, quick reply. That's really m about it. Right here, we have my iPhone 4 and the uh, the blue um, the blue the thing, whatever you want to call it, the blue parts. And um, so I'm, I'm waiting around for my iPhone 4S to arrive through UPS. By the way, they're taking forever. And I saw this tweet, and it was like uh, for this app, and I was like, um, what the heck? And someone said that it tethers without uh, the jailbreak. So there's actually a flashlight app that did this a while ago. So I'm going to get into the video and stop talking so much. But anyway, so you can see right here we got Pay Up Sucker. And uh, honestly, the app sucks. Um, there's no, there's nothing really good about it. We got Pay Up Sucker, and nothing really that cool. Um, but it's it's one dollar ninety nine cents. Uh, definitely worth it by, um, at least for right now. Uh, definitely make sure you don't get it after uh, this release. Um, and if you're wondering, this release is version three point two. So basically, this is going to allow tethering without. A jailbreak. That's truly amazing because uh, as long as you have it downloaded, you can keep it forever. So that means uh, just download it on your iTunes, buy it on your iTunes first, then download it on your iPhone. Make sure you have it and make sure you don't update. If you update by accident, you're screwed. You can't get it later or if like if they do have a new update. So anyway guys, we have the Pay Up Sucker app right here. And uh, go ahead and purchase it and I'm going to show you how to use it. So of course this is my iPhone 4 and it's non jailbroken on iOS 5 GM. So we go ahead and we got it right there, pay up sucker. So you just go ahead and open it and I don't even understand the point of the app. So um, what you're going to want to do is go to this IOU and do the uh, this like um, thing where you IOU and you type in it's my data. But first I'm going to show you how to set it up on your Mac. Right here we have my MacBook Air and I'm going to be showing you how to set this up. So the reason why I'm using the camera just because it's easier and uh, it's going to allow me to easily go from uh, screen recording, well if I had a screen recording, to the iPhone. So um, what are you going to want to do, um, I only know how to do this on Mac right now but I'm sure you can create your own Wi-Fi network and I'm going to show you how to do that on Mac first and um, if I find out later how to do it on Windows I will, um, otherwise you're going to have to kind of figure that out yourself. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go up to uh, open network preferences. So once you have that loaded up you can go ahead and uh, go over to Wi-Fi and since this is the MacBook Air it does not have any other um, network preferences so uh, you'll know that it's going off the iPhone although I hopefully I have service with AT&T so here we got the uh, network preferences window and uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and create a Wi-Fi network a new one at least so let's go ahead and do that so we go over to this network name and we go down to here we go down to create network and now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna say iPhone tethering network From there, what it actually does is it goes ahead and makes a Wi-Fi network. That's available. It, it doesn't actually have a source of the internet, but it's it's there. So let's go ahead and go over to Wi-Fi. And you'll be able to see iPhone tethering, what I just created, iPhone tethering network. And uh, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is go into here. Now we're going to go down to advanced. And from here, we're going to go ahead and go into TC. IP or TCP IP. Then we're going to go to configure IPv4. You don't really know how I want to, uh, you don't need to know what all this means. You're, I'm just giving you the data and you can plug it in. If you're trying to do this on Windows, you're going to have to determine what it means. So uh, right here we have the IPv4 address and we're going to go ahead and do 10.0.1.10. And now for the, uh, the uh, subnet mask, 
We're going to do 255.255.255.0. So a little bit different than what it automatically had. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and go to proxies. And now you're going to want to go ahead and go to socks proxy. So right here, socks proxy. And you go ahead and uh, do that. And um, I believe you leave this blank. I already did on my Mac Mini. And it seemed to work very well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click OK. And uh, from there, we now have to go over to the iPhone. So you'll see that you'll be connected to this iPhone uh, tethering network. And uh, that's all good. So next, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and take your iPhone right here. Go connect to that network that you just created that's going off your MacBook or Mac Mini, whatever it is. Let it go ahead and do its thing. And you're going to click on the blue arrow. You're going to go over to static. And uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to sign it something more than the IP address of the actual network. So uh, kind of like how it's 192.168.1. Dot zero is the router, or and then the um, usually this is common routers, and then the uh, actual name of your computer is like dot one or dot two, so it's kind of the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do ten dot o one dot one dot eleven or twelve. I just typed in twelve. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and do the subject mass, same thing two five five dot two five five. Dot two five five dot zero. So we got that information in there, and uh, now we can just go ahead and go back over to here. And that's going to do its thing. And uh, from there, we got to start up the app itself. So go over to here, start up the app. We're going to go to this IOU. Click right there, and you're going to say it's but you don't want that apostrophe. It's my data. No quotes. Right. And make sure you spell it right. Click go and you'll see this right here. Um, that spinning wheel. So that means that it's working. Put the iPhone off to the side. And now if we go up to here, we can go ahead, scroll in here and we can see that right there in devices zoom out a little bit, you can see iPhone tethering network. Before it would just show up as a normal Wi-Fi network, now it detects as a device. If we go ahead and uh, my 3G internet kind of sucks down here, but there's our internet and we're not connected to my Wi-Fi, my home Wi-Fi network. And you can definitely tell that it's coming off the iPhone because it just loaded the mobile Google, not the main Google. So guys, this was showing you how to do uh, tethering without a jailbreak for free. So this is AT&T. This will probably work for Verizon, Sprint, all that good stuff. So if you're wondering about my blue iPhone 4, um, there will be some links down in the description. And I will talk about it later my iPhone 4S unboxing. So other than that, I uh, hope you like this video. I hope you guys get this app before Apple pulls it because Apple will pull it and it will be uh, gone soon. So definitely get it. Download on the computer first. Buy it. Um, don't even think about it, just buy it. Um, it's not a scam. So go ahead and do that. And then uh, now you have tethering for free without jailbreak. Your 4S, your iPhone 4, 3GS, whatever. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you like this video. Check out iOSforlife.com.